Welcome back fellow coding facilitators, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a transition overlay in Scratch Junior. So a transition overlay could be something like um, a blank screen with some text on it. So at the beginning of a story, it might say once upon a time. In the middle of a story, it might say something like two hours later. Or at the very end of a story, it might say something like the end. So let's see how we can do this on an iPad. All right, so the transition overlay, like the one in the A Day at a Beach project that has the two hours later, is actually two separate sprites. So we can see here we have a sprite that I just labeled black and then another one that is two hours later. So if we look at this, this sprite right here, the black one, it's just 100% black. So all I did was just take the square, drew over it, filled the paint bucket, all black. Now the other one is the two hours later one. So this one actually has the text off center from it. Now, um, it's the exact same sprite in terms of all black background, and then I just used the um, paint tools to write in two hours later. And now the reason why we have two of them, let me reset this, is because when you make it bigger by using the grow, this doesn't cover up the whole thing. So let me show you one of these sprites. So if I put this in the center right here, see how it's got the sides that are um, showing so I don't want that. What I want is an overlay that show, um, covers up everything. So the first sprite will cover up one side of it. And then the second sprite will cover up the other side of it. And because it's off centered, you can put it so that the two are kind of overlapping on each other. It makes it look like it says two hours later. So let me show you actually how to do this from the very beginning. So we go to a new project and we go to plus sign and create a new one. So what I did was just take a rectangle and I drew over the whole thing and then paint bucket filled in all black. So then we have one of these. So let me make it big and see how it doesn't cover up everything. It's got the white on the sides. So I've got covering up one side of it. Now I'm going to create another one and I can do this if I want to change it. And I'm going to make it so that um, it's got text that's going to say Blah, 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 blah. like that and I put it on one side and oh that's weird I wonder why I did that let's make it stretch all the way there we go so I just grabbed the corners and moved it so that way it didn't have any of the um, white space on it so now I'm gonna make this one big as well and then I'm going to take this overlay and drag it over the other side and then now it's in the center. Okay, so now to actually make the show and hide, all you have to do is just use the show and hide box and then just use some kind of a message that makes it so that, I don't know, something like this happens, it shows up and then it goes away, whatever you want to do um, with your project. So that's it. That's how you make a transition overlay and using the messages, you can have it appear at the beginning, in the middle, or at the very end of any one of the pages that you create. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.